So even after all the stretches and the exercises I did this morning, I've still had a 15 minute walk. And now I've got to tackle those steps. I hate the thought of these steps every morning. And my knees are killing me. I was very anxious there waiting on the train, hoping that I'd get a seat. Thankfully it worked out and we've managed to get a seat for myself. It's always a difficulty getting on the trains. There might be other people, pregnant or elderly, looking for a seat, but thankfully it worked out well. I'm just thinking now we're going to have to come into Connolly and change onto the dart and that means I'm going to have to make a quick change and I hope that I can make it in time. It's all adding to the stre stress and pressure put through my knees today, but we'll make it hopefully. So we're just coming into Lansdowne Road and it's just another reminder that I'll never play there. I wasn't probably good enough to play there as a player, but hopefully with my new career, I'll be in there working as a journalist very soon. So we're here at the IPOSI training program uh, for today. I've chosen this seat because I'm at the back of the room. I can get up and move around if I need to, but I'm also facing straight on to the lectures. So it's another way of overcoming the barriers and the obstacles that I face every day. Peter has been involved with the organization for many years. Um, as a young man being diagnosed with kind of both rheumatoid arthritis and also fibromyalgia, he brings a lot of different perspectives to bear. He is one of our Arthritis Ireland ambassadors and that's, that's a fantastic role in terms of going out into the community, giving public talks, speaking and representing the organisation. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia in 2011. It meant I had to give up a job in bar work that I really enjoyed. But luckily I was able to retrain and I'm now a freelance journalist covering sport. It's a job I really love and I couldn't enjoy it anymore. It just shows that even in the worst situations, there's opportunities for optimism and good fortune. I know how important exercise is for people with RMDs like myself. So even on the days that I can't get to the gym, I still do something by jumping up on the exercise bike here, putting it in front of the TV and doing plenty of exercise. And especially after a long day and a busy day, we still have to remember to get up and do our exercise because otherwise tomorrow will be even worse. We can all get up and do our exercise even if it is at home like this. It's been a long day, busy day. Lots of different things going on, but uh, it's gonna be a lovely night catching up with all of them, telling me their stories, what they got up to all week. So I'm really looking forward to it. I don't have as many friends as I did before I was diagnosed, but my family are really close and we get on really well. And I have plenty of things to look forward to and plenty of enjoyment tonight. I work hard, I do all my voluntary work and I do everything else, but there's also time for enjoying yourself and having some fun as well. So really looking forward to tonight. I really wish that more could have been done to help me, but I hope that in the future, people like me will be an inspiration for others looking to get back to work. <laughs>